Hello there. In this video session, we are trying to learn what is the security and political risk for India. So this is the part of the green technology and mostly it's trying to create a awareness to the people what happening in their surroundings because of the climate changes. The particularly this topic, the security and political risk for India we have concentrated. So the security and the political risk here we see, India will perhaps have another huge exodus on hand from the Bangladesh and other areas such as Maldives, Lakshadweep, Andaman, ETC. From where the people will be feeling, fleeing low lying ants. As we know that India is going to be surrounded by the uh, these kind of uh, countries like Bangladesh. It is going to be low level land is there. At the same time, there is Andaman Nicobar is there, Sri Lanka is there, Maldives are there, Lakshadweep are there because they are going to be surrounded. So they are by the water. When the sea levels are going to be rise, the mostly these countries are going to be affected. Then due to these reasons, the migration is going to be taking place from this. And then they are going to be trying to get into the India land and then automatically that's going to be a, a huge cost for the India. So then what kind of problems we are going to be facing in this part? comes to into after 2019 or 20 there we can see the land is going to be totally uh, occupied by the sea water so because of the it is going to be very clear that the certain areas are going to be the sea level is going to be rising and automatically it consuming the the lands So in this case also we can see Maldives as well as the Sri Lanka also they have started to suffering with this kind of the 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 sea water level rise. So then the slowly they are occupying the water is going to be occupying the lands of this uh, small Iceland. At the same time India coastal area also it is going to be affected. So then what are the problems generally India will going to be face. So in this case there are a lot of strain on India in terms of the land, water and food security. Then how? Because the migrations used to come in India and they are going to be share our land, water and food security because these facilities now India is going to be enjoying. But in case of the, the migrations are going to become, this is going to be a severely, we, it is going to be affected because of the population. So then what will happen? All this will lead to a certain dangerous, dangers and the political insecurity as well as. So then... Populations. So in this case, what will happen? The, the, there was a, a new uh, Tuvala uh, Iceland is there. That is also uh, they had an agreement with the New Zealand, and then finally they tried to migrate with the highlands. Then uh, what other problems are going to be we are facing? The global warming is one of the most serious problems facing in the near features. But only the few people seem seems to be realize it in this context but india is going to be still we are uh, believing that the such a, uh, things are not going to be happen but already it is started we can see the maldives and other countries which are going to be uh, iceland they are going to be suffering the the land is going to be consumed by the ocean or the particular sea so then in this case especially india will suffer because of its long coastal line around 7600 kilometers with many low lying areas, its large number of poor people inhabiting uh, disaster prone areas and adverse effects on the health as well as the agriculture. So these are the problems we are going to be expected because of the sea level rise. So in continuation of that, the climate changes will eventually lead to uh, three board groups of problems strategic, uh, strategic importance for, for every country. So first one, the global water stress affecting water supplies and agriculture and related business everywhere. So this is going to be global water is going to be a supplying because of the groundwater is there sometimes because of the rainy season then the water is going to be flowing through the canals. So then these are going to be severely affected because of this uh, sea water rises. So then next one is the large scale uprooting of the people and their migration to more favorable areas throwing the existing infrastructure 
employment and business partners out of with the gear so these migrations are going to be not only the people who are going to be migrating because we are also bringing the problems along with them so then the disasters of high magnitude again affecting the employment as well as the business so in this case the india chances are there they are going to be facing this this level of the problems so what is lacking in, in india to face that kind of the situations so there we can see india does not have the infrastructure that is going to be well known to everybody to deal with extreme weather events as well as the disaster still we are not able to up to that uh, preparedness is not to up to the mark so that we are going to be facing that problem some other countries like india also lack infrastructure and have high uh, proportion of poor people among them such a such as some countries in asia as well as the africa so then they will they will be equally badly hit by the climate changes then how the india will address this issue so regarding this one the regarding the climate changes the india has started to frame certain rules and regulations to overcome this one the jammu and kashmir reorganization bill in 2019 they introduced it in the parliament the main purpose of this one is going to be the migrations right so that we can going to be controlled over there the next one national medical commissional bill because the medical facilities we need to create it so to the all the poor people all the all the people of the india so that they are going to be national medical bills also they are going to be providing and the next one the protection of the children from the sex usual offense because the chances are nowadays these are also we are facing in coming days the migration people also because of their own culture be, be they unable to match with india so then automatically they are going to be a different kind of culture. Cultures are going to be marriage also is going to be affected. So next one, the motor vehicles bill in 2019. As we know that we shifted to the BS birth standard six we have introduced. In the before we do have the BS three and BS four uh, vehicles we are used to control the uh, emissions from the automobiles. So then these are going to be bills they are introducing. And the next one, the consumer protection bill in 2019 to protect the consumers and their rights. The consumer bill is going to be introduced. The next one, the Muslim women protection. So this is also that is the protection of rights on the marriage. So that this is also uh, the introduced in the parliament in 2000. These are the very brave decision was taken by the Indian government to address the the upcoming near future problems. and next one citizenship amendment act also we had uh, given because this is going to be stopping the migrations from the other country people to the india so then who will gain in this process because of this climate changes then what will happen this low lands are going to be occupied by the the sea water so then who will going to be because the temperatures are going to be rises then automatically these near equator lands are going to be subjected to the high temperature the draft situation will going to be create but the other part of this one like china russia and uh, england and then canada these people are going to be because of the high temperatures they will gain more because of the temperature will rises and automatically that will going to be helpful for the agriculture and other business also we can do it and next one their climate and agriculture local business opportunity will stand to improve their little warming so here the climate change countries we can see there the already we do have seen in the last video session and there we can see the near equators are lands are going to be suffered with the huge amount of the temperatures and the yield of the agriculture will going to be reduces to maximum minus 25 to 40% also it is going to be reduces and if you can see the other part side the china half part mongolia and the russia and next england ireland these countries and from that side is going to be the canada and other brazil they are going to be suffering they are going to be uh, it's a reward point so that the yielding is going to be increases 25% to the 40% from the pre present conditions and what we learn from this one the security and the political risk for india because of this migration people and what are the problems we are going to be facing because of we need to share the land we need to share the Uh, water we need to share other research uh, other resources like infrastructures road buildings and everything we need to be then how the new zealand has solved because the the new zealand has considered those the island people are going to be their national people that's why they are going to be migrating this way and what is lacking because we don't have that level of infrastructure at present in india we need to be focused on to address these issues for the low land at the same time india also will suffering with this kind of things next one how india will address this issue because Uh, to stop the migration from the other country peoples to india there are different amendments that means different uh, uh, bills they are going to be introduced in the parliament that's we have discussed and who will gain in this process 
there is an opportunities every crisis there is a opportunity is there so in this process the few countries are going to be taking the advantage of that one and thank you so to continue and to understand this uh, green technology so i am doing the more number of videos to that uh, for more updates follow my channel